charged with a crime for feeding her baby? Today's Wednesday, October 24th, 2013. One ounce of silver is $23. One Bitcoin is $190. Peace News Now is brought to you by Bitcoin from friends of WeUseCoins.com. Bitcoin is changing the world the way email changed communication. Learn more about the internet's favorite currency at WeUseCoins.com. Laura Trickle breastfed her five-month-old son while on jury duty. For that, the judge charged her with a crime. Now she has to defend herself from the government's lawyers, who allege that she, quote, willfully and contemptuously appeared for jury service with her child and no one to care for the child. But were Laura's actions willful? Jury duty isn't a choice. For Laura, neither is nursing. It started with an innocent-looking piece of mail from the government, informing her of jury duty. She responded that she wouldn't be able to participate because she's still nursing her son. The government lawyers insisted she must come anyway. Her son doesn't take a bottle, so she nursed him quietly during the trial. That's when the judge stopped the trial to draw attention to Laura, as if she was inconveniencing him. When she got home, Laura received another not-so-friendly piece of mail from the government lawyers ordering her to come to court Thursday under threat of arrest to stand trial for the charges against her. Laura said she plans to plead not guilty. She said, quote, It's not right. It's not fair for us. We were just trying to do what's best for our children, and we shouldn't be penalized and fined for it. What do you think? Is this a case for jury nullification? Should people obey orders because they're backed by threats or because they come from men in robes? Share your thoughts on the Peace News Now Facebook page. Maybe you think that Laura's wrong, that she deserves the consequences because she broke the law, and lawbreakers deserve to be punished. But consider this. The Congressional Research Service admits that it doesn't even know the current number of federal crimes. The United States Code is over 27,000 pages, and even if you could count up all the crimes contained within them, you'd still have to look up all the references made to all the other endless bureaucracies' code books. If the federal government can't even count how many laws there are, how can you be certain you're not in violation of one of them right now? Are you a conservative, a libertarian, a Christian, or a gun owner? Are you opposed to abortion, communism, or the United Nations? If you answered yes to any of these questions, you are a potential terrorist, according to official U.S. government documents. This is not a joke. Check the link in this episode's show notes or visit peacenewsnow.com to see the government's own documents for yourself. This story brought to you by friends of blockchain.info. Download the free Bitcoin wallet at blockchain.info. As politicians in the Czech Republic are gearing up for elections, artist David Kearney drafted a not-so-subtle piece of artwork along the River Vltava. The artwork features a large purple fist extending its middle finger about seven stories in the air, directly at the seat of the president. Does the Czech Republic have more free speech than the U.S.? What do you think would happen if the same thing were done by an artist in the States? RT.com reports that China and Singapore are now directly trading yuan instead of the U.S. dollar as their medium of exchange. Put another way, politicians in one part of Asia have agreed to trade a different piece of paper with politicians in another part of Asia. Those holding U.S. dollars will lose purchasing power, but Bitcoin users are not affected. In other news, Crypto Seal announced that it's closing shop rather than comply with information requests from the U.S. government. Crypto Seal is a VPN, or virtual private network, which uses encryption to give users privacy on the internet. To protect its customers' information from the U.S. government, Crypto Seal said, quote, it is impossible for us to continue. Speaking of tech news, Google is working on something called UProxy. It's a peer-to-peer service that allows you to set up an encrypted internet connection with someone you trust. Google hopes the new technology will outwit government officials by allowing users to bypass their restrictive censorship forever. Peace News Now is on the next news network and is brought to you by friends of WeUseCoins.com. Share this episode with your friends, and if you enjoyed it, send some Bitcoin to donate.peacenewsnow.com. I'm Derek J, reminding you that peace is the way.
everyone somewhere inside loves the idea of freedom.